Right, so continuation of our time zone and P calendar. So we set this to 25. So this one is 7, 7.30 p.m. Create this. That should be 11. 11 of 25. Okay, so that is minus, that should be 19. So when we display that here, get hours plus this one. So this will display 19. No, it didn't display 19. How about minus? Oh, 19. So hours then minus the offset is 19 and that is if we if we pipe this with angulars uh, long time is it long time okay 7:30 long long okay july 25 7 30 pm okay set again 7 30 7 30 pm refresh 7 30 pm and if we change our setting to um, Sydney that is minus minus three so this one here will be four oh no it's plus three because Sydney is advanced so um, earlier, three hours earlier to the Philippines. We convert this back to Philippine time, 7.30. Okay, so that's it for P calendar. Um, when we save a P calendar, we don't do the, the string here. Uh, string format. What did we erase here? Shit. Uh, I had data string. We don't do this data string here. We just want to save it as because we, if we don't do that, it will be automatically become a UTC. Yeah, right here. Eleven. So it becomes minus eight because Philippines is plus plus eight. So it will save the UTC time. And then when we display it, uh, we will use the it's hours that is being set minus the offset of our current browser, the time zone of the browser that we are using divided by sixty. And that will fix it back to the hours, the hour in our browser. Okay, so example, if we change this to Tokyo here, the time here would be earlier than uh, plus one hour. It's going to be eight. Yep. Okay, so that's it. So next is how to format it according to the local. Like for example, if we're in Tokyo or France or US, they have their own date format. So we want to be able, uh, the, user, the user should be able to select the, uh, our format or time format on its browser. All right, cool. That's it. That is four minutes. We want it to be five minutes. Uh, 
Okay, five minutes. Bye.